What's up guys, it's White out here again, bringing you a little commentary on Modern Warfare 2. Again and again and again. Show no mercy. <laughs> but anyways, uh, first off today, I want to start off with a little story. This little story is about an experience I had with a buddy of mine when I was about, I don't know, 15, 15 and a half years old. Uh, but anyways, um, what do you guys think of dead bodies? <laughs> Well, this is a true story, and uh, um, basically, this is not. Uh, this is only the first time I've ever actually told it to anyone besides uh, when it happened. Now, um, my buddy and I were uh, actually walking. We we hung out a lot, and we we went fishing a lot. So, uh, you know, one day we he came over. We decided to go fishing behind this. Um, uh, it's on these railroad tracks. It's like a, a old railroad bridge, and then went over to, over the river. It actually was over top of the uh, Wolf River here in our in our hometown. And uh, when we got there, we, you know everything was all fine. Um, about a uh, hour and a half into fishing, something floats by. Well, at first we don't but we don't think anything of it, so we just keep on fishing, you know. And uh, when we were done fishing, you know, we decided to pack it up, go home. Uh, we walked down the river a little ways, and this thing that floated float, floated past us earlier on in the day was laying just off, just offshore in the middle of the water. And you know, this was a common part of the river, and it was just out by a branch on the water. Because there's, you know, there's a lot of trees and stuff that are down across the river and in the river there. But, uh, this thing was laying in the water. So, what we did, we went to look and check it out. Uh, we crawled, we crawled out on the branch and, um, we got out by it. And lo and behold, it was a fucking dead body, yo. It was seriously a dead body. And, well, the cops didn't believe us. Uh, I'm kind of jumping ahead here, but well, we we ran home, okay? Like two little kids, we were scared ass little kids, scared shitless, you know? Damn near shitting our pants and pissing ourselves, whatever you want to call it. And uh, then I'm as I'm just this chubby little bastard. I'm this chubby little kid, you know? Chubby little bastard. My sk friend is this skinny little Chinese little wimpy kid. And what we do is <laughs> we're running home. I, I beat his ass home. I'm so fucking scared. And uh, well, our parents we tell our parents. At first, they didn't believe us, but then they seen how scared we were. And um, so they went, you know, they went to the cops. So my friend's mom came over as well, and we went to call the police. And um, we called the police. The police actually picked us up, took us down by the river because they didn't believe the story. Well, they, they took us down by the river, and, uh, they body was gone. For some reason, somehow, we guess the current took it under, and it got unhooked from the branch. That was, the branch was stuck in the water. It got unhooked from the branch somehow, and, uh, it, it got, it drifted back down the river. And, uh, basically, the police officers, uh, stood down there, and they called us liars over and over and over. And they told us if that they didn't, if they drugged the river and they didn't find anything, that we were going to be in some deep trouble for you know filing false report, this and that. But they drugged the river for a couple of days. They drugged it three or four times. The fourth time, um, actually, just outside of town, about three. Or four miles away from where we found the body. They actually found the body. They found the body and they um, were actually required to give us a written apology. <laughs> the police officers themselves were required to give us a written apology. I, this, this order came right down from the chief of police. They, they had to give us a written apology or there would be consequences for them. Which I thought was pretty fucking funny. The police officers themselves would have consequences for calling us liars. But and I, I just want to say this: that that's the kind of police officer I want to be. 
Uh, right now, I am in school for, um, for criminal justice. I'm on my, I just completed my first year of class, so, uh, um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be. Uh, I'm probably going to start out as a correctional officer and go straight to a police officer from that. Um, I've been in school, like I said, for uh, one year now. I'm st just, uh, next week I'm starting on my second uh, set of classes. And I will have my associate's degree on August 5th of next year I graduate. So I will be getting an associate's degree and I am actually going to go straight through and get my bachelor's as well after I get the associate's. And so I'm going to have two, two degrees in criminal justice. But, you know, I just wanted to tell this little story to show you that I am a... Uh, that's the kind of police officer I want to be, you know, like like that chief of police. I mean, not all kids are little lying, cocky little motherfuckers, you know. <laughs> and sometimes there's some truth to some of what they're saying, and it's not all bullshit. I mean, here and there you'll get a little, couple little lying bastards that'll play some bullshit, but that's mainly on Xbox Live, don't you know that? <laughs> Actually, I pull the line little multi bastards, but you guess you gotta get along with them. Just that's what the mute button's for. Thank you, Xbox, for putting the mute button in. And I think there's a lot of guys out there that would agree with me on that. So yeah. Anywho, um, yeah, this uh, gameplay you've been watching while I was telling this story is uh. Uh, free for all on uh, Strapyard. As you can see, I'm running my AK-47 with uh, Sledgehammer Pro, and my secondary are the models, dual models, dual wheel models, the Kimbo, whatever you want to call it. I guess if it's if you were on Black Ops, you call it the dual wheel. Here you call it fucking uh, Kimbo. I actually was quite a bit behind the first uh, guys on this game, and pretty much a question in the end. I fought it right out. I was probably they were at like I don't know, eleven hundred, eleven hundred, a thousand or eleven hundred, and I was like at six hundred, and I, I shot right up there and I clutched it at the end and won the whole thing. So it was okay game to uh, put my stereo underneath. So you guys listen to that little story, and th that story was not it was not fake. Um, and like I said, it actually happened. This is actually the first time I told this story to anybody, and I just felt I should I wanted to share it with all you uh, here on YouTube. Um, shit like that happens all around here all the time. It's not it's not really a big 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 deal all the time, but. Yeah, this game is about to come to an end here, so uh, please uh, subscribe, rate my video, comment, let me know what you think, and I will be back with another video uh, very soon. Later, guys.